Welcome to the Capgemini Cyber Experience Center. This is our flagship in cybersecurity. This is where we showcase our technology solutions, those of our partners, and we bring them together to give our clients immersive cybersecurity crisis simulations. So we're gonna show you right now the actual space. We're located here in Leitzer Rhein in Utrecht. And here you can see we have very different rooms where we can actually go from the technical to actually to the business and in a physical space. So we're gonna show you right now the beating heart of the Cyber Experience Center, our cyber range. Walk with me. So what you can see over here is our Capgemini Cyber Range. In partnership with Boeing, we have set up a cyber range. So essentially it's, a, it's virtualization capability. It's servers that replicate the IT and the OT environments of our clients. So everything from printers, endpoints, computers, uh, data centers, to manufacturing environments, such as PLCs, power plants, uh, whole skater grids. So we call it a cyber range, just in the way that you would have something like, let's say, a shooting range where you have target practice. This is why it's a cyber range. We're creating virtual environments for your operational people to actually have as a practice. Uh, so here you can try out different scenarios, such as ransomware, DDoS attacks, even something like a data leak. So this is what actually powers the CEC. But now what we're gonna show you is the first step when our clients come into the Cyber Experience Center is actually the boardroom. So let's go there now. So the boardroom, you'll be coming in. We're gonna to try to emulate a regular, every day-to-day -day meeting that you'll be having at the C level, right? So you would come into here. In this scenario, in this exercise, you are part of a railway company called Star Rail. Now you're walking into a meeting where you're discussing the financial plans for 2021. And of course, this is where we, you're, you're able to log in. We'll bring our, our customers here. You'll see our tool over here, the Exercise Mastery Tool, EMT. It's our proprietary crisis management exercising tool. And that actually links to the CRIAB, to our cyber range over there. And uh, together, that's what forms the technical and tabletop capabilities of this scenario. So the train over here will be running. So this is actually also linked to our skater grid. This is also linked to the cryab, to our cyber range. And in the middle of the exercise, something will be happening to the train. So the train will be stopping during the exercise. And as you can see, all the lights have turned red. All right, so you are the CIO in this exercise. You received a message, a very important message from your control room. That you should go there right now. So let's go there. At the Cyber Experience Center, we have two rooms. We have a demo OT room and a demo IT room. Let's go into the demo IT room. This is our space where we get to show our clients what a demo IT room is. This is our demo security operating center. Now, as part of the exercise, this is where you come to interact with exercise control. This is where you actually get to interact with characters uh, with actual people here that will know things about the simulation, will give you hints and clues as to what's actually going on. So here we have our IT operator, will be part of the exercise and will be there to help you. If you ask the right questions, of course, and you'll also be able to interact with the content on the screens over here. So here you'll be able to see everything from incidents, uh, status of, of, of outages and attack maps. But all right, now you are the COO. Something's going on in the manufacturing room. Let's go there now. So the OT room is actually the space where we get to show our clients that we know what OT technology is about. This is the place where we have emulated, we're able to show all the technology. Now during the exercise, this is the place where you also interact with exercise control. Here we have our OT operator, and here is where you get to interact with the actual content. Here's we have a train map, for example, of a train line going from two cities here in the Netherlands, from Amsterdam to Utrecht, very busy lines in this country. And here you can already start seeing that things are going on. So if you come here as a COO, you actually get to see the stuff's going on. Now, this space, as I said, is also a place to show our customers that we know what we're talking about. We're in the OT landscape. So here we have some mock uh, industrial control systems. Over here, you can see uh, some, some, some screens of some operating stations. And over here is something that we're quite proud of. This is what we're calling the Capgemini Skater Grid. Over here, you can see we have some uh, step seven Siemens controllers. And uh, now if the word step seven sounds familiar to you, it's because they were actually the programmable logic computers that were compromised in the Stuxnet incident. These are actually connected to our cyber range. 
and as would any manufacturing component. So for example, in another scenario, we can have a power plant. So if something goes off in the scenario, this light bulb would light up and the plant would stop working. Now this is a miniature factory, but if you have uh, any, uh, if you have any doubts of how real it is, please just take a look at the one behind. The scenario is over. You have just experienced what it's like to go through a cyber attack in a safe and contained environment. Now, you have seen it from the side of a railway factory. Of course, now you're a railway company. You're also thinking, okay, how could this affect my organization? This is where we lead you to the story temple table. This is an interactive way to be able to deal with content, to be able to walk you through stories instead of clicking away through content, we actually get to engage. So here is what we get to show our clients what we did in the background, what an attacker would do, and what are the different things that you can do in your organization to remediate that and protect yourselves. Now, uh, this is RFID technology with some projection. And this is where we get to walk our clients through the different offerings that we have at the Cyber Experience Center. So if any of you are interested in coming to the Cyber Experience Center, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for your time.